If you are a Shaw Internet customer, you'll have to keep a close eye on just how much material you upload or download. A new policy implemented at the beginning of the year means that you could face new fees for going over data limits. Sonia Sunger has the story. I don't think most of the people are that, that pleased. Gone are the days of carefree internet use for Shaw customers like Gary McCallum. The computer programmer is a heavy internet user who will now have to monitor his use. It's like, holy crap. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's text messaging 101 all over where your bill comes in and, and you're now looking at hundreds of dollars and, instead of 40 or 50 or 60 dollars. Effective January 1st, Shaw customers can now be charged if they go over their internet data limit. I'm upset about the backdoor tactics. They keep it, it, it secret and then kind of lambaste you later. Only customers who've been exceeding their limits received this letter in the mail, notifying them of what's included in their plan. After an initial warning, customers can now face stiff fines for going over. According to Shaw Customer Care, a customer who has a $37 a month high-speed internet package must now stay within the 60 gigabyte limit or be charged $2 for every gigabyte they go over. If your actual usage is 80 gigabytes, your bill would be about $77. Shaw Customer Care says it's always had this policy, but is only now imposing fees. People are definitely going to have to pay much more attention to what they're doing. Bell and Rogers have already been imposing bandwidth metering and throttling on their internet users in eastern Canada. TELUS says it won't be introducing this policy. Uh, no, we, uh, we haven't got the need to. Uh, you know, we've invested in excess of $1.3 billion over the last two years in our, our networks right here in Alberta. TELUS says other providers are charging for overages to manage increased use. And in the early days of the internet, it was primarily used for moving email around. Uh, today, we're seeing a lot of people moving movies. Gary McCallum isn't planning to change internet providers, but believes Shaw should have clearly notified customers. Yes, it, it's not a contract, so they can do whatever it is that they want, but there, there needs to be some stability. A report from our Sonia Sunger. We tried to get a hold of Shaw today, but they did not return our calls.